craftymefangirl.com and today we're going to use this Spider-Man fabric and some felt to teach you how to make a Spider-Man pillow. Download the pattern from craftymcfangirl.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube, that link will be in the description below. You will also need spray adhesive, half a yard of Spider-Man fabric, and red and blue felt to match. You can use any kind of iron-on adhesive that has a paper backing. I'm using a product called Heat and Bond. You will also need pins, scissors, and thread. You can sew this project by hand with a needle and thread, or you can use a sewing machine. I recommend using a pillow form. You can use a form that is anywhere from 12 to 16 inches square. Another option is to stuff your pillow with polyester batting. And finally, you'll need an iron and some way to measure your fabric, either a cutting board, measuring tape, or ruler. Measure and cut a piece of Spider-Man fabric for the back and blue felt for the front. Cut two inches more than the size of the pillow you're using. I'm using a 12 inch pillow form, so I cut a 14 inch square. Next, cut out a piece of iron-on adhesive large enough to fit the pattern you have printed out. Roughly trim out the pattern pieces, then use spray adhesive to stick them to the iron-on adhesive. Make sure to stick them on the paper side, not the adhesive side. Start with the star shape. Glue the pattern to the iron-on sheet, then cut through the outer star to the inner star and trim out that shape completely. This project will take about 45 minutes to complete. I will speed up or skip over long or repetitive portions of this craft. Carefully trim out the outer star border. And lastly, the word thwip. Put the larger star and thwip adhesive side down on the red felt and iron. Then trim out each piece and peel off the paper backing. Next, put the smaller star adhesive side down on the blue felt and iron. Then trim out the piece and peel off the paper backing. Iron the red star onto the blue square of felt. Then, iron the blue star inside the red star. Next, carefully place all the letters inside the blue star. Do not iron them down until you have them exactly where you want them. Pin the back of the pillow to the front, making sure that the good sides are touching inside. Pin all around three edges of the pillow. Then sew all around three edges of the pillow. Keep a one inch seam allowance all the way around. Next, clip the tips of the two sewn corners and make sure not to clip the thread. I used a pin to protect the thread. Flip the pillow right side out, making sure to make the corners square. The next step is stuffing your pillow. You can use a pre-sewn and stuffed pillow form, or you can use polyfill batting. Once your pillow is stuffed, fold the open edges inside one inch and pin the pillow closed. Sew the pillow closed using a thread and needle. At this point, 
your pillow is done. But you can add one optional step if you want to finish the edges of the graphic. Using clear glitter fabric paint, trace around the edges of the design and the letters to glue them down permanently. Once the paint dries, your pillow is done. Thanks for joining me and Spidey for the Spider-Man Pillow Tutorial. See you next time. Thank you.